After my last video, I got a lot of questions from you guys about the quality of the camera itself. You ask mainly about the dynamic range, color space, low light situation and generally what I think and what I feel about the footage from this camera. I will leave the super professional scientific test of the camera and sensor, especially in a studio environment, to more qualified and experienced persons. Because I am sure that many reviews will be coming soon. So at this point, the only way to answer your questions is a side-by-side -side comparison with a camera that, in my opinion, is actually pretty close concerning the price as well as the image quality. It won't be a perfect match because the Red Komodo has a Super 3D5 sensor while the 4D is full frame. But this is one of the best camera on the past year in my opinion and I really wanted to check it out. And besides, there are not too many full frame cameras on the market that can record 6K RAW internally, which is exactly what I wanted. Of course, in the Ronin you can choose sensor size to Super 3D5 and that would make the comparison almost perfect. In fact, some of the shots you will see are made with this configuration, but in a Super 3D5 mode, the Ronin limits the resolution to only 4K. That is why, to give you the highest quality and full scale of comparison between these two cameras, I decided to use the best possible resolutions and the best possible settings. I also wanted to take these shots in the same environment using mainly a tripod but also a handheld without stabilization. That's why I made a special rig to combine these two cameras into one and then take each shot in the same way, also using the same lenses. In Super 35 mode, in both cameras I used identical super fast T1.5 Samyang 35mm EF lenses. However, to reduce the field of view between these two cameras in full frame mode, on the Komodo I put a 24mm lens from the same kit with exactly the same glass from the same brand. In each shot, all settings like white balance, ISO, aperture value are absolutely the same, maybe with one exception and the filters, which are built in 4D and in Komodo I used variable ND from Tiffen. All the shots from both Ronin 4D and Komodo that you will see in this video are made without any creative color correction and all I did was to match colors to Rec. 709 in DaVinci Resolve. At this point it is worth to mention that RAW from RED in DaVinci Resolve works great without any problem and you have full access to advanced RAW settings and tools such as a white balance, ISO and exposure. However, ProRes RAW from Ronin as well as all ProRes RAW in DaVinci simply don't work at all. So if you want to play with them in Resolve, you need to convert them to ProRes 4444XQ, for which I use paid software called Assimilate Play Pro. Perhaps you can transcode these files in other ways, but this is the easiest for me, besides it gives me simple access to RAW settings. I hope that maybe one day Blackmagic will open the door to ProRes RAW in DaVinci Resolve, for which I am sure the whole filmmaking community around the world will be extremely grateful. Guys, let's jump to the footage, I already have my own opinion about these cameras and I am very curious about your impressions. So let me know in the comments and do not forget to subscribe this channel.
It's the coldest hand that run down this land where the ocean lands. It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd, but their hearts break loud. Far from ever feeling lost with me, I'll push you back towards the land and sea. They're going down for love, and love is free. Stick with me, and I will guarantee you're never lost alone. The crowd with me. Shoulders 
lots of gin in our ears There's a whole wide world about to unfurl Not so far from here So let's get lost together Let's go chase that postcard Wish you were here with her Let's get lost together Cause if we don't I know that I won't even last another year Let's get lost together Let's go chase that postcard Wish you were here with her Let's get lost together Cause if we don't I know that I won't even last another year